The Panasonic S5 Mark II is for the general user, while the X is for the professional looking for higher video quality. The X offers industry standard codecs to meet everybody's needs. But what actually is a codec? Well, it means encode and decode, or compress and decompress, and basically takes a large amount of data and compresses it into a smaller file size for a computer to then decompress it at a later time. Okay, so why is there so many different kinds of codecs? Well, the first thing to know is that no codec is the best. They all serve different purposes for different people's needs. For a long time, H.264 Longop was the most common codec, which was followed by the introduction of H.265 to deal with higher resolution videos, as well as high dynamic range videos at the same bit rate. If you look through the different recording options in the camera's menu system, you'll see that some state long gop recording and some state all eye. And that actually refers to inter-frame recording and intra-frame recording. Basically, intra-frame recording is a higher quality version, but it's not suited to every situation. Let me explain. Inter-frame recording will look at a series of different frames, find out what's changing within that scene, and compress a series of frames based on that. Take this scene for example. We're shooting right now at 25 frames a second and every single one of those 25 frames, the corners and the background behind me is unchanged. So there's not really a huge need to compress every single individual frame. Instead, what the camera is doing right now is finding out what's moving between those frames, being me, my hands, my mouth, and it compresses the information based on that, leaving the background unchanged, which makes it a great compression format for interviews or anything where there's not a lot of movement going on. Conversely, all eye or intra-frame compression actually looks at every single different frame, which makes it great for sports or anything action-packed and fast moving, including camera movements. So think of water, sport, or a music video where there's a guitar strum or lots of people doing lots of large movements where the camera is not stationary and the subjects are also not stationary. All eye takes a lot more storage, whereas long gop or inter frame recording takes a lot less storage. They're both great, but for different purposes. The camera also has the ability to record in ProRes, and this really is a step into an industry standard camera setting now. ProRes will generally be less CPU heavy on your computer, especially when we're talking about Mac. It will also reduce your rendering times if the whole workflow the whole way through is ProRes. However, the caveat to that is that the file sizes are generally larger, which not only increases the need for bigger cards on your camera, but it also increases the need for bigger drives on workflow in post. H.264 and H.265 are all most people and most users are going to need. But ProRes is an industry standard codec across multiple different cameras and multiple different editing softwares. So if you're on a set and the demand is ProRes, this camera can definitely do it. As you can see, the range of different codecs here are there to suit a range of different purposes and there's not one best codec for everything.